Hello there, everybody. It's Rourke Lydon here. Let's get right into it. To, to battle. The Battle of Garrig Mach. This is going to probably be our hardest fight at, for, for the time being. And right here is actually a very pivotal moment in the game. We will soon arrive at Garrig Mach Monastery. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates, so I ask that you prepare yourselves for anything. I'm not thinking about friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it, don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready! Let's go! Let's fight! I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and win! How can you prepare to fight? Maybe I can... prepare to prepare. There is no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you all. Now. Let's talk strategy. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Professor. At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. In other words, we are the decoy that must suppress the enemy's most elite soldiers. We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate One. Fight with all you have, but don't be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our Professor. Not only will we all survive this, but we will undoubtedly emerge victorious. This will be our first battle as the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail. Okay, here comes the big battle before something happens. I'm a little nervous because, um... Again, I thought I would have had more time to recruit and grab people. This is definitely more than I grabbed previously. Exactly doubled. And the units I did grab, I would have really hurt to lose elsewhere. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's no one in the center. Oh, this is a capture mission. I'm. Uh, oh. She has silence. Oh, really? Really, Rhea? This is not okay. Okie dokie, so who do we have on our side right now? Okay, Marianne's with us. That's a, that's a happy thing. Yeah, she can counter silence. I am personally taking... God, I want to take Felix with me right now. I will. I also would like Hubert to have Shamir with him. I definitely want Marianne having Leoni by her side. I think everyone's properly equipped. Yeah, big weapons on right now. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. This is going to be a difficult fight, to be sure. Even with the extra units we have on our side. In fact, it might be worthy to go go here. Dorothea Dent is right here. Yeah. Just like last time. Friends, our opportunity for victory will come. But first, we must see to our defenses. The city's defenders are trying to stall for time. We must crush them swiftly. We should be wary of ambushes as well. Vladislava is being pushed on the left flank. We must push back with equal force. Stay focused. Okay. I go right there. That's my cue. Go with the arm, yeah. Any chance I can take to lower the amount Should of pieces. Should I have health This is how you fight with a sword, Felix. Assist from a distance. Okay. I oh, forgot no. to bring up this. Okay. That's fine. I will prevail. I'm gonna send Edelgard up there and have Hubert as follow wish. as well with Petra. I will get the victory. This is fine. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Ah, Ferdinand. Yeet. Splendor of nobility. Mm. <laughs> That's my boy. You are not. Good. This is very good. Okay. Badman Silver there want to go do Badman things. Put me in there. I'm about to have Caspar just break through. Uh attack? Oh, you can only use the hand axe. Okay. Another one by the dust. Alright, alright. As expected. Me and Felix are doing fine. You fought well. Ooh. Another personal. Should I have held back? Nice level up for me. Another step forward. Level up for Felix. <sighs> no. Distance for that my guy. Also, lady. Oh. No, but seriously, she's wearing the the Wyvern Knight armor. So silly. Hey, hey, hey. Set up, can we talk? Ooh, no, we actually cannot. You don't want to talk to me. 
And then you actually do quite a bit of damage. Traitor. Wait. I will not forgive you for turning on Rhea. Oh. Oh, this might hurt. I'm sorry, Sedif. Another life. She can't even scratch him. I will show no mercy to anyone who attacks Rhea. He has a shield. Oh, I fell for it. I fell for it. You know what? This calls for one of these uses. Stay focused. Take two. Traitor. I cannot yield. Set up. Just back down, man. Set up. Please do not overextend yourself. I am still in this fight. I'm sorry, Flame. Withdraw if you must. I will get the victory. What's the task here? Conditions. Route the enemy. Okay, take them all down. I will prevail. This is why we. This is what we talked about, Edelgard. Oh, that's my cue. As you wish. Okay, there's flyer over there. Put me in there. <laughs> That's far made the hole. We need these decoys. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Actually, no, he can't reach there just yet. Stay right there. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bernie. Who, me? Oh, goodness, Marianne. I should have assisted. Fly in. Actually land a hit. He strikes back. Each battle a chance to grow. Where are you going? Hello. Oh hi. That's woo. That's no good. Now, hidden soldiers. Don't you take my kills. Don't like you. Oh, he's gonna eat right. He's gonna eat flame. I can't get to them in time. I shouldn't get to them in time because we have an ambush. That's fine, just heal the meat bags, Marianne. Sorry for skipping over your dialogue. Caspar, come from behind and punch him in the nose! Oh, damn. Yeah, it worked. <clears throat> He's just as shocked as I am that it worked. Pretty good, don't you think? 
Doing great, my boy. Okay. Let's, let's think about this tactically for a second. If I send her down here to bring the axe down. Wait. No, that won't work. Okay, chop chop. Really? Well, how was that? Okay. Hubert. Make them no longer alive. Good job. You were taught for nothing. Any experience is worth having. Uh, make with the chop, even. Ooh. My heart is full of victory. And now, because you have the ability to resist such, yeah, I already fire a. Poison. Alrighty, Professor exiting stage left. Oh, there's a break of a wall there. Excuse me, sir. Need you to die. Oh, and thank you, game, for sending me the big ass break of a wall right there. That is that. The look. Ooh, lots of stuff. I can feel the difference. Ah, Jesus. Wait. Talk. Just what we need. I knew her. Let me get back up the floor, buddy. Back to the fray. Ooh, and there's a there's a plus level up for our dark mage. I could have been sleeping this whole time. It's magic and resist. You did good. Ooh, that's a dead end. For like three seconds, she was gonna quit to make it unnecessary, but well, that's always nice. If I taught you, Dorothea, you stop. Unfortunately, you must die here. You should never have defied the goddess. Uh, how about we not? Jesus. Wow! Must protect Garrick Mock. I must protect everyone. Oh, geez. We will lend the Empire strength. Don't worry, we're allies now. I understand you must have many questions, but they'll have to wait until after the battle. Oh, Jesus, this guy did not deserve this. <laughs> what are you doing? Child's play. Uh, I'm just gonna break the wall down. Is that cool? Uh. 
And that, Felix, is how you break through the walls. Okay. First things first. Take down Gilbert. Oh. It's gonna be a hard thing to take him down, isn't it? Make them tremble. Linhart, I really don't think you have enough here to, like, take him out in one shot. Well, now you do. That's my boy! Whoop. In my master's name, I cannot allow myself to fall here. I must withdraw. Seteth, Flame, Gilbert. You put your lives on the line to protect us. I would have preferred to have more time to prepare, but we cannot delay any longer. Come forth. Protect Garrick Mock Monastery from those despicable rebels. Oh no! I'll crush them all. Her enemies are my enemies. Ah, the victory conditions have changed. This is okay. I just have to break through here, kill him, kill him, kill her. Simple, very simple. Not that simple. And now we play heal heal on. Appreciate it. Burn and burn, take the shot. Bar. Can you ask him a few questions? If you're feeling that's my boy. You see that? Becoming a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Of course, she's running there. Of course, he's going there. Wow, guy. Wait, who are you aiming at? Oh, you are so getting punched. Eh, that's right. Let's see. Double hit from the church shoulder. From the church shoulder. Oh, Jesus! I suppose it's random crits all around. Terrifying. Oh, Jesus, Randolph. Where are you going? Now, Cyril. 
Let's think about this. Oh, it's not Cyril exactly. This is good. I don't mind this. Ugh, I want to inch closer, but I, I'm definitely terrified. Thanks. Okay. 80, lead the charge. Big ol' gambit. Armor broken. And a Mithril gained. I think Hubert has it in him to murderize this. At least break its second HP bar down. And I was correct in that. What happened here? How do you get a clap back? Oh, well. Actually, let's not. Let's have Caspar run over here. Uh, Ferdinand, start moving up. Linhart. Little itty bitty movements there, Bernie. Why y'all swapping sides for? <laughs> this is a mistake. The mark of nobility. The noble standard. Doing good, Ferdinand. Just, uh... Delivered. Each battle a chance to grow. Uh, I gotta hurry. They're gonna get themselves killed. Time for the Death Knight. Unless he magically lost all his stats. Hello there. You fuck well. Now, Felix, watch carefully. This is how you kill an entire room of people by yourself. Burn it from the bushes. Very just like kill steel. You know what, Hubert? Just take it out, man. I I don't want this thing up and alive. Oh, he gets less defense. No, wait, foe suffer. Why do you keep on getting hit with? It's not doing actual damage.
Oh, game at number dos. Another barrel. Well, another two. I don't think she has another gambit you. She does! We have I created a plan. Ooh, more damage. The armor is broken. Caspar come in. Caspar got experience. All right, inch yourselves up very slowly. You should be on it. Okay, heal her up before she gets herself killed. Sure, that helps. And all the way on the left flank. Ah. Right. I mean, that night we really couldn't save. He just got crit. There was nothing I could do there. Just gonna ignore me like that? Alright. Predictable! You were asking for it. Oh. oh. Good job on ambitions there, soldier. Each battle a chance to grow. Such power dwells within. It do. It really do. Okay. Second verse? Watch and learn. Almost the same. No hesitation. Ooh, nowhere near the same as the first. You fought well. Can feel the difference. Good, now you're about to snuff your other classmates. Ooh! That was a fancy flip. Should I have helped that? <laughs> Catherine's like, you know what? I don't want no piece of you. Okay, hold on there. Hold on. Ugh. I give this kill to Edelgard. Blur. It's a long road yet. Ooh. Alright, y'all good. Y'all just sit back. I'm gonna go over here and ask Catherine how her sword skills are. Are Steel Gauntlets really my only way to... There has to be a better sword in here somewhere, right? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, Lance, maybe? Try that. I know I was using axes as well. I always go for the devil axe and try to just one-shot her. I can put away the Leaven Sword too. I don't think it's going to do much damage to Rhea. Sublime Heaven, maybe? Oh yeah, that's a one-shot. I trusted you. Lady Rhea trusted you. I won't let you live after what you've done. I just said I wouldn't kill. I just said protect Edelgard. Lady Rhea, I'm sorry. Please stay safe. 
All is well, Catherine. You must not die here. Can you can you drop that, please? Can you stop? They are going to get themselves killed. Yeah, I, I see you over here being cheeky. Really, there's nothing left to do here. Kinda gotta wait. I gotta kill you! Jesus, Cyril. And kill him, he did. Oof, really? Really? Don't. If he crits, it was just never meant to be for her. I will handle this. Y'all step back. I'm sorry, sir. Asthma, Nosferatu, Group Flames, Javelin, Fire, Wind. We really can't just stomp him out right now, can we? Okay, how far can she move? I can put her right here. We skip the dance. That should, yeah, there we go. Lady Rhea, I couldn't fight hard enough. I'm sorry. See, your sacrifice will not be in vain. Wait, sacrifice? <gasps> wow, game. You actually made me do it. You are not. Rhea, you're surrounded on all sides. It's it's one of you versus all of us. Ah, screw it. You. How dare you betray me? You worthless piece of garbage! I will punish you myself! Let this be a lesson. <laughs> Good retort there, Professor. Phase two? I think it's gonna be a phase two. I will not allow Garrick Mock or my mother to fall. Alright. Be prepared for cutscene. Because I'm almost certain it's going to be a cutscene. A long one at that. You will not be forgiven! Professor, look out! The castle is crumbling! We must escape! Professor, take cover! Professor! What's going to happen here? What? That's it? My thank you so Hold much. Hold up. In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. After a hard-fought battle, she was forced to retreat to Ferdiad, the capital of Fargus, where she must now plan her next move. What? With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodlin has begun. The unification of Japan has begun. Thank you.
I felt like I skipped something. There, there's no cutscene there? Part 2. Crimson Flower. Ethereal Moon. Beyond Escape. It is Imperial Year 1185. Half a decade has passed since Emperor Aelgard ascended the Imperial throne. Yet the continent of Fodlan still remains lost in a tempest of turmoil and bloodshed. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, King Dimitri has welcomed Archbishop Rhea and her knights, who were driven out of Garrick Mach to the Kingdom capital. As they work to build a unified front, the war with the Empire rages on to the west. Meanwhile, Claude, leader of the Alliance, staves off Imperial intervention by strategically stirring up conflicts between Lester Lords in an effort to feign neutrality. As events unfold, Edelgard and her Black Eagle Strike Force begin to take action in an attempt to break the war's current state of deadlock. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now. And you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of you. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? How dare you? Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? Hey, where am I? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know, regardless... The Imperial Army has taken over now. Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the Ethereal Moon, the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing at all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? The Imperial Army is there. Come on, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. I appreciate it, and I appreciate your almost facial hair there, sir, but I have to go. You just remember I tried to stop you, got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. Don't worry, Mr. Mutton Chops. My students are waiting for me. Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. Five years ago to the day. If things had continued on as they were, today would have been the Millennium Festival. Halt! Who's there? It can't be. Professor? Is it really you? But I searched everywhere and never found a trace. My teacher. What have you been doing all this time? Where have you been? <laughs> I was sleeping. I was dead. Pretty sure I was- Joking? At a time like this? 
You do realize it's been five years since you disappeared. <laughs> joking. Do you have any idea how guilty I felt? How broken my heart was? I searched high and low after you vanished. Although there was no proof, I somehow knew you were alive. All this time, I led everyone as best I could and fought with all my heart. It's been a difficult path to walk alone. Welcome back, my teacher. I'm so happy that you're safe. Five years. Such a short time, but it feels like an eternity ago. Do you still feel the way you did all those years ago? You said then that you would fight at my side no matter how many enemies we should amass. As for me, my resolve has not faltered. I'm determined as ever to see this through to the end. I will defeat the false goddess. I will save this world from those creatures and give humanity its freedom back. So, my teacher, are you prepared to stand with me? I... I thank you. Truly. Now then, I assume you understand the situation at hand, yes? Another joke? Or... Are you telling the truth? I suppose you must be. In that case, I'll tell you all that has transpired as you slumber these past five years. And that is where we are now. The war is at a stalemate. Oh. I, I, I don't get to know what's going on? Alright, cool. Dimitri is the new king of Fargus. It's clear that his territory will continue to support the church. Meanwhile, Claude's leadership has thrown the Alliance into chaos. He maintains neutrality in their internal conflict. The situation has created a deadlock. We've been awaiting an opportunity for our squadron to return to the monastery. With you in the fray, I believe the state of the war will shift immediately. The church, as well as the kingdom and the alliance. The time has come to eliminate them all. Rhea, Sedeth, the knights, and the others are in prime condition. They've set up their base within the kingdom capital. The Immaculate One and her family have yet to fight on the front lines. However, we must eventually face and defeat them. It would mean a great deal to have you with us when the time comes. Good. Well then, I believe it's time for a little reunion. The Black Eagle Strike Force never lost faith. They knew you were alive and have been awaiting your return. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. This has been a very long episode. But this is what I was referring to this whole time. Five year skip. Time skip. Just like in the animes. Very long episode, though I knew that. Oh. Well now, that face is certainly familiar. I am glad to see you alive and well, Professor. Professor, it's me, Bernie. Do you remember me? I can't believe you're here. This is adorable. I can't believe it. Is this a dream? Can we really be this lucky? This is not dreaming. Our professor is with us again. Welcome to the back. I mean, welcome back. I see no one took the time to teach you more about how to properly form those sentences, but I'm glad to be back. Our group isn't the same without you. I am overjoyed to see you again. Oh, Ferdinand, you break my heart right now. It's been so long. Seeing you again fills my heart with hope. Great. Now everything will be easy. Um, that's great you're safe, Professor. I'm deeply, deeply moved. <laughs> Quite the reunion, isn't it, Professor? Everyone's happy to see you. Come on, Edelgard. You must be happier than all of us combined. <laughs> she took it really hard when you disappeared, Professor. <laughs> Caspar just grabbing her by the scruff and saying, Under the bus you go! <laughs> Of course, we did our very best in your absence, and there was never a day that we doubted you would return to us. Edelgard has been leading us as Emperor, but 
after you disappeared, it became apparent that you were her anchor. It gives me regret to be admitting this, but our power is not enough. The only one who can be meeting Edelgard's expectations is you, Professor. Most impressive of all is your uncanny ability to bring a smile to everyone's face. In the years since you vanished, we have not lost anyone from our ranks. We all longed for your presence and your leadership, myself included. It seems fitting to view this as a new beginning for the Black Eagle Strike Force. We already have our target. Yes. We must eliminate the Alliance before moving on to fight the Kingdom and the Church. Oh, the happy music stopped. However, that doesn't necessarily mean we must occupy the entirety of the Alliance. House Regan stands against the Empire. Therefore, our target is Deirdre, the aquatic capital. We must cross the Aramid River, which separates the Empire and the Alliance. To do that, we must take the largest bridge across it. The Great Bridge of Murden. Murden connects the monastery and the imperial capital to the east. It is the shortest route there. An alliance stronghold has been built at the Great Bridge. We'll take that and then head north. At the same time, we must defeat the one who defends it, Judith von Daphne. If we can also take control of Daphne territory, it would be greatly beneficial to us. Prepare yourselves. The next battle will be a momentous one. Join me, my friends as we begin our journey to bring peace and solace to this war-ravaged world. Huh? Ah. No! Ah! Hey, Professor, something's been bothering me. Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? A knight scolded me for it, but at the time, I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though... I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this brief. Heh. <laughs> All these five years, I've had this one important message to tell you. The knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. Much appreciated, but there's a reason I need to bring this to your attention. The brigands all bore identical tattoos of a scorpion on their arms. Please, keep an eye out for that mark in the future. Oh no. Don't mention it. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. But some of the knights, they died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. No, Caspar. If I'd stayed quiet and tracked the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. But he probably wouldn't have. Now those knights, they're not coming back. We both know it. This is all my fault. Ah, jeez. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's just one thing after another. Is this necessary? I'll sing if I must. Not sure I should sing with everyone. I'm not great at harmonizing. <laughs> Why are you leading us to prayer, Professor? No, stop! Grr! Uh, I, I, I can't. I can't right now. There's so many support conversations I have to get to. Okay. Oh, goodness. I can still do these support conversations at my leisure. This is good. Ah, speaking of people who can do support condos. This is good. Okay. 
I can finally end the episode. It's been a long one, I know, but it's just that this part is such a big moment in the game's life. Because after here, it takes a complete shift. And one that's going to be very difficult with the current... Well, maybe. Because from what I saw... He's a Dark Bishop. She's an Armored Lord. Paladin. Still my Dark Mage. Okay, so... Felix, Ash, Marianne, Leonie, and that's pretty much it. All kind of leveled up in my absence. This is good. Excited to talk to all of them again. It's a shame the prof the these this bunch didn't do much, but meh. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and sticking through this really long episode. If you liked it, you know what to do. Much appreciate you if you do. And until next week, I just want to say, later's. Whew!